Uh, the carnival has come to town, its towering ferris wheel and striped tents casting long, eerie shadows under the moonlight. It's a sight to behold, a symphony of colors against the muted backdrop of the town. The air is alive with the intoxicating aroma of popcorn and cotton candy, a sweet seduction that draws you in. Laughter bounces off the merry-go-round, a cheerful melody that drowns out the humdrum of everyday life. But as you venture deeper, you notice peculiarities. The carnies have an odd look about them, their smiles a bit too wide, their eyes a shade too vacant. An out-of-tune melody seeps from the cracks between the attractions, an eerie lullaby that has no discernible source. The attractions, too, seem to possess a life of their own. Their movements are tad too deliberate for comfort. As night falls, the carnival takes on a different ambience, one that sends chills down the spines of those who dare to stay. When the sun sets, the carnival's true face emerges. The once merry-go-round now spins in eerie reverse, each rotation a sinister echo of the day's joy. Laughter that once filled the air curdles into blood-curdling screams, sending chills down the spines of those still trapped within the carnival's clutches. The games, once simple diversions, morph into twisted versions of themselves. The ring toss now hurls back, the duck shoot turns on the shooter, and the strength tester measures fear. Even the cotton candy, once a sweet delight, now tastes of bitter despair. Then there's the fun house, a labyrinth of mirrors that no longer reflect reality. Instead, they show grotesque distortions, mocking the trapped teenagers with monstrous versions of their own faces. Every exit seems to lead back into the heart of the carnival, a relentless jest of the wicked carnival master. And in the heart of the carnival, a riddle waits to be solved, the only key to their escape. In the swirling chaos of the cursed carnival, the teenagers must play to survive. The games, once innocent fun, now become a labyrinth of danger and deception. First, the House of Mirrors, where reflections warp and twist, revealing cryptic messages in the distorted glass. As their own faces leer back at them, the teenagers decipher the first clue. Next, they brave the Ferris Wheel, an ominous behemoth in the starless night. As the wheel turns, each cabin reveals a piece of the puzzle, a riddle whispered by the creaking mechanism. Then comes the carousel of shadows. With each haunting melody, the spectral horses whisper another piece of the cryptic riddle into their ears. Finally, the haunted tunnel of love, where the darkness holds the last piece of the riddle. As the boat drifts through the murky water, they must confront their deepest fears to find the final clue. With each completed game, the solution to the riddle comes closer within their grasp. Against all odds, the teenagers solve the riddle, breaking the carnival's curse. Their night of terror reaches its climax as they piece together the puzzle that has trapped them in this nightmarish world. The carnival, once a place of laughter and joy, had turned into a labyrinth of horror and despair. But through their shared ordeal, they unearth a strength within themselves they never knew existed. The story of their escape is not just about survival, but about the lessons they learned along the way. They discovered that courage isn't the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. They found that teamwork isn't about thinking alike, but thinking together. Most importantly, they learned that facing their fears is the first step in overcoming them. Their harrowing experience underscores the power of unity in the face of adversity and the importance of courage in confronting our deepest fears. As dawn breaks, the carnival disappears, leaving behind a group of teenagers forever changed by their night of terror.